West Ham are set to formally announce a signing of Calvin Phillips on loan for the rest of the season. Um, it's a deal that we've kind of been reporting on here for quite a while. To be honest with you, I'm going to let, let you know something. that When I first joined uh, West Ham way, right, that's about three years ago, one of the first conversations I had with XWH employee was around Calvin Phillips. So, so it's just say three years ago, right? And I remember him saying then, keep your eye on Calvin Phillips. Moyes is a big admirer of him and West, West, we're going to try and make a move. I think this is when he was at Leeds that we would be trying to make a move for him. And then even when he went to Man City, X was saying to me, yeah, you've got to keep an eye on this. I think West Ham is still very keen. And I, I, I know that we're going to try and make a move for him. We're going to try and get him on loan. We've always been linked. Moyes is a massive, massive uh, Calvin Phillips fan. Um, he's understandable. He's a great player. Um, he's obviously, he's had his injuries um, over his career, which is slightly been is the only concern I would say with Phillips but there's no doubt about it he's a really gifted player I mean hence why he's in the England squad you know what I mean he's a he's a top top player there's always been that debate isn't there for quite some time about the Rice and Phillips thing and we've seen them play together at England they were very very you know very good together um but yeah we've always been heavily linked and even so much as when Rice was obviously linked with leaving West Ham um and that Man City link again X was saying look you know there's a chance West Ham are going to try and do a deal where um right, uh, Phillips would come to West Ham so it's, this feels like a long time in the making, this one, uh, this transfer. And I've got to be honest, I'm absolutely buzzing. I, I really am. I think this is a statement signing from West Ham. Um, it's it's for, To get someone of that quality and that calibre to come to the club, and, and let's get this right, it's, it's a loan with an option to buy. And let's clear this up because... This is where there's been a lot of um, confusion, I think, around in, surrounding sorry, the, um, the signing, is that if, when it first broke um, across all the channels and sort of like the big players were talking about it, X came out straight away and said, yeah, there's an option to buy um, in, in the deal. And then I think it was Jacob Steinberg possibly came out and said, uh, yeah, uh, there's a, it's a loan deal, no option to buy. And then you had Fabrizio Morano come out and say option to buy is included. So it was all a load of confusion. Like, well, what is it? What is it? Um, and even so much so, I think there was a bit of um, confusion over whether West Ham saw it one way, Man City saw it one another. Really, really confusing. But it appears now, yes, there is absolutely 100% an option for West Ham to buy uh, Calvin Phillips. And that's an option that we can take up. It's not that, it's not that um, you know, we get, uh, we, we've got to buy him after a certain amount of appearances. It's purely based on the fact that if we want to do it, we can trigger it and, and, and get the player. The only thing that apparently appears to be coming out, which is the, the concern, is the wages. But there is a belief that should we go into a situation in the summer where we want to keep Phillips, and let's hope that is the case, let's hope it's a brilliant signing uh, and he does brilliantly over the rest of the season and we decide to keep him, that the player would expect to even lower his uh, wage demands. I mean, look, what they could possibly do considering his age. I mean, I'm just looking at actually now, he's only just turned 28, last month he turned 28, so he's still got a few years in him. But what effectively you could do maybe is say, look, we'll pay you 100 grand a week. And for what you're sacrificing, we'll give them another year on the deal. Something like that. I'm imagining there will be uh, ways around it. And it appears what I really, really like about this as well um, is that uh, Calvin Phillips really wants to come to West Ham. He's all, I think it's, this has always been on the cards, this move. It feels like it's always been there. David Moyes is a massive admirer of him. He's gone to watch him plenty of times. I'm guessing they know each other. He must have spoken to him a fair few times and, and, and said how much he admires him, he's, you know, because... It's no secret how much uh, the West Ham manager wanted this player and he's finally getting him. So I'm, I'm really pleased. I'm pleased at the calibre of player. I, I think this is a real step in, uh, in the right direction. I think it sends the right message about West Ham. I think there's a lot of clubs now looking and thinking, bloody hell, like they're not mucking around this season. They're sixth in the league. And they're not sitting back. This isn't a fluke. And West Ham really do mean business to get a player in, you know, an England international through, through the door. That, make no mistake, if, if Phillips plays well this, the rest of this season, and, and, and that's well, even just plays, I think, and plays, you know, he's still standard football that we know him for. He's going to be going to the Euros in the summer. Not, not only going there, he will be partnering Jude Bellingham and Declan Rice in the midfield of England. That's how good this player is. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's not an average bang average player that we're just getting from a top club or someone that's been really struggled to make any, you know, any headway anywhere in his career. He's done very, very well. There's a reason why Man City paid a lot of money for him. But obviously, the move hasn't quite worked out. He needs to be playing football. He, he said that um, earlier in the season. Um, sorry, in the summer, wasn't it, that he was needing to play football because he needs to get in the Euro. So this is obviously the big driving force. But I love the fact he wants to come to West Ham. I think it's a real uh, big one. What I feel as well is that it, it reminds me of Jesse Lingard. It's got that feel about it. The bigger club coming down now to the... Uh, you know, like West Ham are a big club. I'm not saying we you know he's, he's taking a big step down. But, you know, he's, he's leaving the Premier League champions. It's like a, a team that are now fighting to try and get into Europe. Um 
uh, for next season. Of course, we've got a Europa League as well. We can have one eye on that, obviously. But it's that point to prove. You know what I mean? He's got to get back in that England squad. He's going to be hungry. If we can keep him fit the rest of the season, this could be a really, really good signing for West Ham. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm honestly absolutely buzzing. Joe, you know I saw a uh, tweet today. It did make me laugh. And it made me actually think, because I, I, I'm not t- doing this as a horrible dig or anything, uh, um, anybody, but I just, it did make me think, actually, it made me laugh. Then I actually thought, you know what, it's actually right. So I said, look, you know, West Ham go and sell Deck and Rice in the summer and somehow they've ended up with a better midfield than Arsenal. And look, I'm not saying that, like, that's that's fact, because I, I, I'm not into all that kind of stuff. But you do look on paper now, I think, bloody hell. Like, this is a really good team. When you look at West Ham now, you've got Edson Alvarez, Calvin Phillips, you've got James Ward Prowse, you've got Paqueta, Kudus, Bowen. You know, you're thinking, this is a seriously good side. Um, and I just lo- I love the ambition that West Ham are showing. Well, I've complained about this a few times. I've done it over the last couple of years on this channel, haven't I, moaning about that when we get to January, we always just seem to sit still. We don't really push. We always seem to just uh, go, OK, we'll have to see how we get on, rather than really go for it. That the season we you know got got to um, got knocked out in the Europa League. If, if we just got a couple of players in that January, that could have got us over the line. It could have won us that tournament, but we didn't take it. It just feels different. West Ham feel different these days. It really does. I think since we brought Stierton in, there's a and, and Mark Noble now involved. It just feels like we're a better run club. There's a bit more ambition. You know, they, 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 we're not just sitting still and going, "Well, we'll just see how we crack on." We're like, "No, no, no we want to push on." Um. So the update, by the way, on the Calvin Phillips thing. Yeah. You know, Sorry, I've waffled on my own uh, tangents here. Uh, Calvin Phillips uh, Medical, I think I think it's commenced already. He's in London now, and the club are going to announce it officially tomorrow, I believe. So that's, but yeah, as far as I'm concerned, the deal is done. Contracts all agreed, everything's all sorted, um, and the player's very happy to join and will be part of the squad uh, for, for the Bournemouth game next Thursday, which is just you know brilliant. How, how exciting is that? Considering the fact we're going to have Mohamed Kudus back as well for that game, um, obviously Jared Bowen back fit. You've got um, Edson Alvarez is land likely to be fit. We'll do a proper update on all of this um, nearer the time, exactly where things stand. But it's likely that these, these players are going to be available. And then you've got um, Calvin Phillips in the squad as well. This is going to be a, a really good night under, under the floodlights in East London. Do you know what I mean? It's, I, I'm buzzing. I don't know about you. I'm buzzing about the signing. I think this is a real statement and a, and a real show of intent from West Ham and about time, you know, that we're, we're not messing around. Um, so I'm going to go as far as saying this, right? And this is how important I see the signing for West Ham. Not only do I think that Calvin Phillips uh, gives West Ham a huge boost in terms of what we can now do in, in terms of our options in the midfield. I mean, because, you know, you bear in mind, uh, you've got um, Edson Alvarez is continually getting booked. That's his nature. He's had a couple of injuries already. He's missed a game. He's obviously missed the last one, didn't he, uh, through injury. So you've got another player that can slot in. Because to make no mistake, uh, Ed, um, Calvin Phillips is replacing Suchek. I mean, that's I think that's a given. I think everyone knows that's going to be the case. Suchek, though, can be utilised still at this football club and still be very, very useful to us now. There's no two ways about it. But I think this is going to be a significant upgrade at midfield. I think the football quality is going to change quite a fair bit because Suchek, as, as good as he can be, um, you know, the final third of the pitch and getting him and, and causing havoc for defenders and being in the right place at the right time kind of guy. And, that, and let's be honest, he does work bloody hard. He slows up our play a hell of a lot. And he's not great on the ball. He just isn't. You know, we've never seen it. He's not very good on the ball. His distribution is terrible at times and, and can be so frustrating. Where suddenly now you get someone like Calvin Phillips in with that quality, that 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 not only um, um, distribution-wise and how, how good he is on the ball, but he's a wonderful crosser. He's got a great vision for things like that. But he's also strong. He's powerful. He gets stuck in. You know, he's, he, I think this is a really, really good sign for West Ham. And... I think it's making the league take notice. I, I really do. I think other teams are thinking that West Ham are seriously going to try and contend here for a European place this season, and we're not we're, we're not going to fall away. Well, that's the intention, of course. Hopefully, we bloody don't. But uh, no, I'm I'm really really pleased, and I do believe this. I really honestly, and I know it sounds a little bit out there, a bit you know, I don't want to sound. I'm not. Please don't think I'm saying this is a fact. Like this is what's definitely going to happen. But I believe this kind of signing for what we're doing this season, of where we are at the moment. This could be the difference, not only of us getting to Europe, but even maybe getting the Champions League this season. I really do. Whether it be through the league position or going on to win the Europa. we I mean, we've still got a bit of business to do. I, as far as I understand it, there are two more players to come in. I think that's the expectation. The club are going to bring three in overall. Obviously, you've got um, uh, Sai Ben Rahman is going to be departing. It looks pretty certain on that. And then probably might ship out a couple more, or at least one more maybe. Who knows? But... That's what I understand it to be. So if West Ham can get these three right, obviously Calvin Phillips being the first, which I think is spot on. Um, I just think that we could really, really push on for the second half of the season because it's not long to go now. I think 17 games, isn't it? 
I think it is 17 games to go. And you look at that and think that's not many, including also got the Europa League. If, if we can just get our, keep our players fit for this now, you've got Mohamed Kuda's coming back, who is, you know, in blistering form. Looks looks a top, top player. I mean, I mean, I think we're going to struggle to keep him. I, I don't I don't think we're going to lose him in the summer. I think it's going to be, we're going to have pl- clubs after him, but I don't think we'll lose him. That's my gut feeling. But get back to my point, I think West Ham here have a seriously strong squad. And if we get this right, West Ham could seriously challenge the things this season. Thank <laughs> you.